Well, today I want to share one of my very favorite prayer success stories. Uh, years ago when my dad died, my wife's dad died the next month. They were both church leaders and very godly men. And right after that I found out uh, five different people were stealing from me at my company in different ways. And uh, we also had an accounting error that, that showed up at the same time. And, and so uh, all told, the, the losses from accounting error and from the theft were a total of about half a million dollars. And I was so sure we were gonna go bankrupt that I started praying that my employees would find good jobs. I knew I could do something, but many of those had been there 10 years or longer at my company, and, and I wanted them to be taken care of. And uh, that never happened. We never went bankrupt. That company's still in business, even though I'm not there anymore. But uh, we were slowly recovering from that when uh, the, the, the Bible class for the young married people at my home church uh, asked me to teach my series on spiritual warfare. They were the only class at my church who hadn't heard the the uh, lessons and seen the slides. So I, I told them I would be happy to do that in the fall on one condition. And they said, what's that? And I said uh, that you pray for me because every time I teach this, something bad happens to me. Satan does not want you to know this stuff. And they kind of laughed and said, yeah, yeah, we'll pray for you. Well, four weeks into the class, uh, my biggest customer, which was Pilgrim's Pride Chickens Corporation at the time, uh, went out of business owing me $210,000. And uh, you business guys know when people go bankrupt, even if they're reorganizing, you normally don't get any of that money, or, or at best you may get 10%. Now, there's a couple of other interesting side factors here. I went into class the next week and said, see, I told you I needed your prayers. Uh, this is what happened, and if I don't get that money from Pilgrims, I will go out of business. And it was true, because we were still recovering from the half a million dollar losses from before. And so uh, they did. They, they realized how serious this was, and they prayed for me. And this went on for a long time. Now, I had a line of credit just for Pilgrims. You know, big companies like that pay slow to littler companies like we were. And uh, so I had it all borrowed to 210000 And there was other couple of side notes that were interesting um, it turns out when you're going to go bankrupt and you're reorganizing that um, if, if, you, if they've paid me any money in the last 60 days before they declared bankruptcy, they can ask for it back. And so that was the first hurdle. Uh, we were praying that they wouldn't ask for that. They had just paid me $60,000. Uh, it knocked it down from what they owed me was $270,000. That knocked it down to about $210,000. And so, obviously, the money's not sitting in the bank waiting on them to call to see if they need it back. I'd spend it on, uh, on bills and payroll. And uh, I don't live like this personally, but during that time, because of all the combination of bad things, I was really worried I was going to go bankrupt to bring shame on the church and uh, shame on my family. And, and I'd lay there at night and, and worry about getting enough money in. And, and uh, you know, worry and fear drives out faith. They can't coexist. And so... Uh, I would lay there and think about that and, and, and be you know, embarrassed before it ever happened. And it never did happen. But uh, I'm telling you, God's bigger than that. And that was just a pride issue on my part. But uh, uh, about a month before they uh, uh, went bankrupt, I had called them to talk to them about the past due bills. And when I was talking to the, uh, the purchasing agent, he said, uh, you're right, Steve, a lot of this is very old. In fact, 100000 of it is more than 12 months past due. Uh, I don't know how we're going to pay you that. And I said, well, neither do I, but you ordered it, and I delivered it in good faith, and you owe it, not knowing that they were planning their bankruptcy on the other end of the phone line. And so here was 100000 of the 210 that was very old. Here was 60 that had just come in that they might ask for back, but they never did, so those prayers were answered. Meanwhile, I'm paying interest on 210000 a month for 15 months, knowing that when they finally do reorganize and the word was out that I wasn't going to get any of that 210, I was going to have to go out of business. And uh, so I, can, I shared this concern with one of my very good friends that I walk with every day, uh, Ron Hutchison. And, 
one thing he said always encouraged me. We laughed when he said it, but it's true. He said, don't worry, Steve. They can't kill you and eat you. It's illegal. And somehow that little funny saying got me through my darkest days. Well, 15 months later, it came out on the front page of the Longview paper. And for the first time in U.S. history, a billion-dollar corporation uh, was, was reorganizing after bankruptcy, and all the previous vendors they owed money to, like me, were going to get 100% of their money. And that had never happened before in the United States. And then when the check came, it didn't match the 210 they owed me. It was 226000 They paid me interest. So let me encourage you that if God needs to, to help you get through, he can bankrupt a billion dollar corporation so they'll pay you the, the bills that were already a year old, and without question, and he'll pay you interest on top of that if he needs to. So that's the power of the God we serve, and we need to realize that's who we're praying to every day. Prayer is powerful because your God is powerful.